Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you this tool. It is a revolution in the way the software can be created. Imagine now you got a manager and you got developers, testers, and the documentation creators, everyone in a virtual world. Everything is done by automated agents. That's exactly what we're going to do. Create a complete software with just one prompt. And all these virtual developers, testers, and CFOs, CEOs will talk to each other and build the software. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install and then create a software with just one prompt. Let's get started. First step is to clone open BMB chat dev. Navigate to that folder. Now create an environment. Conda create hyphen n chat dev python equal 3.11. This will automatically create the virtual environment. Now Conda activate chat dev will activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install minus r requirements.txt. This will install all the required packages for Python to run this application. Next, you need to export the open API key. You can generate the open AI API key from the open AI platform and then click enter. That's it. The basic step is done. Now we are going to run with one command and I'm going to show you how to change the configuration if required. If you go into company config folder, there are three different folders, art, default and human. For now, we are going to see only the default folder. There you should have chat chain config, face config, role config. In role config, we define the list of people working in a company. I'm in the role config. Here you got chief executive officer, chief product officer, counselor, chief technology officer, chief human resource officer, programmer, code reviewer, software test engineer, chief creative officer. So these are all the people who are working virtually as AI agents. The another configuration is the face configuration, the list of phases, and the chat chain will give the basic setup config. So you can change these settings based on your needs. Now let's start running the program. To run the program, be on the root directory, which is chat dev, and then type python run.py. The task you're giving is create an interactive tic-tac-toe game, and you are writing it as hyphen hyphen name. You are giving a name for the whole project, it's tic-tac-toe, and the model we are using is GPT-3.5 Turbo. You can even use GPT-4 if you want. Then click enter. This will initiate the conversation between all the developers, testers, the CEO, CFOs. Now the build is done. So you can see it took 127 seconds, the total duration and the amount of tokens used, the number of lines of code. To run the code, go into CD, warehouse, tic-tac-toe, default organization, and then click enter. There you should be able to see the list of files. Now we are going to run that file, python main.py. That opens a window like this. Here I'm going to play the game, player x wins. Yeah, that's it. You can improve from here. To view the way the developers and the testers got interacted, we can go into python online log slash app.py. This should automatically open the URL where you can browse. In this you have chain chat visualizer where you can choose a file. Once after you choose the chain config file, you should be able to see the configuration of the whole thing. To get the chat replay, click the chat replay and upload the log file, which is in the warehouse folder, the tic-tac-toe folder, which you just created. Then click on replay. Now you can see the way the chief executive officer is interacting. You can see the conversation is going on between different individuals. The testing team is doing testing and that's it the whole software got created. Similarly, you should be able to create the softwares you like with just one prompt. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.